craze continues from families out searching for this year's costume to clowns that make a career of it. We hit the streets to find out what is behind this threatening nonsense. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. New developments tonight in the creepy clown craze. Reports keep coming in. Sightings of scary clowns all across the country. Right here in the metro, no reports of any actual threats. But a photoshopped image of a clown in the parking lot at Papillion La Vista South High School has caused concern. And Brandon Scott's looking into this for us tonight. Brandon. John Mallory, a student at Papillion La Vista South, had doctored that photo and posted it. Today, we're learning the student was responsible and he was not expelled, but he was disciplined. He was also cited by police. With charges pending, folks in Papillion say they're tired of all the clowning around. I think people have too much time on their hands. It's ridiculous. Brandy Adams is from Papillion, and she's heard all about the latest chapter in the creepy clown saga. A couple of bad ideas can really ruin something that can be fun. We met Adams at Nobby's buying Halloween costumes. She and her family are dressing up as clowns, even though across the country and here at home, an outbreak of scary clown sightings has people on edge. There are a few theories as to what could be behind this creepy clown craze. One is a new Stephen King movie set for release in a few months, and all of this could be a publicity stunt that got out of control. I have a rainbow wig that I wear. Donna Trout's stage name is Rainbow Trout. She's a professional clown in Papillion who spent decades making kids smile. She hopes all the creepy clowning stops. It's just people taking something that's good, the good of clowning, and turning it into something awful. These are kind of more like the circus fun clowns. You know, they have the smiles on their face. And Back at Nobby's, assistant manager Aaron Phillips thinks this focus on clowns could mean more sales in these weeks before Halloween. I don't, I think maybe some, some teenagers might want to do more clown than normal. Brandy Adams hopes anyone who decides to clown around remembers to keep it friendly, not scary. Law enforcement's done a good job of putting out information that this isn't acceptable, so I hope people heed that warning. Now, as for the Papillion La Vista South student who posted the fake clown photo, we've learned that by all accounts, he's a good kid on the honor roll and involved in music. There's even a petition online, John and Mallory, with more than 500 people reiterating the fact that he didn't mean any harm. All right, thank you, Brandon Scott, reporting live.